Walking into a high school hallway can sometimes look like a nightmare. Kids shoving to get by others, people laughing and screaming, and groups of students chatting dead center in the hallway like stubborn cows, making it seemingly impossible to make it through. People have to deal with busy hallways almost every day in high school. Even out of school and at crowded places like malls, it can d be difficult to actually get where you are going. Some schools are concerned that their small hallways would be a safety concern if an emergency happened while the kids transitioned to classes. If all kids were just standing around in the hallway in the event of an emergency, they would have a difficult time le leaving the building. Teachers report that the first four to eight minutes of class are, is almost a waste of time because students straggle in and disrupt instruction. When students are unsupervised in hallways and bathrooms, there is an ample time for fighting, bullying, and other misconduct, which can get brought into the classroom with them. From September to November 2004, Casey County School in Kentucky averaged 240 tardies per day due to students talking or misbehaving in the hallway before class. After implementing a positive tardy program, however, Casey County reduced the average number of daily tardies to two. The positive tardy program is when teachers have a task to round up behaving students who have not made it to class on time. They escort these students to a suite room where the students receive immediate consequences. Positive suite team members are then escort tardy students to their classrooms, ensuring the students do not disturb instruction when they enter. At H. Grady Spruce High School, with a student population of more than 1,500, tardies and referrals were reported to have decreased 50% or more after a tardy program was introduced. If the positive tardy program was instituted in more high schools, such as here in Sanborn, it would have have a good chance of, at eliminating tardies and maybe even lessen congestion in the hallways. When students have immediate consequences for being late, they might ha have more incentive to get to class on time. If students didn't get caught up in the hallways talking to friends, then they would have a better chance not being tardy. It is alright to chat with friends when going to your next class, but obstructing hallways completely can cause others to be late, even if you don't personally care. If kids are just transition between classes in a mindful and respectful way, then other kids wouldn't have to wait for those standing in the hallway to move. If they wanted to talk before class, they could move to the side or chat, or at least move out of the way instead of, of making those trying to get to class wait for them to stop talking or find another way around them.